This guide shows you how to burn a CD using iTunes. Okay, so first of all, you have to have iTunes open. Now, what we need to do is we need to make sure that we've got a blank CD handy, either a CDR or a CDRW. Um, CDRWs are not compatible with some devices, so if you want device compatibility, then make sure you've got a CDR. So first of all, what we need to do is, once we've opened iTunes, is we need to build up a playlist for, of the tracks that we want to add to our CD. So, um, okay, so what we do is we just click on, right click just somewhere on the right, on the left here, and we get a menu come up and we left click new playlist. So we give the playlist a name. So let's just call it CD for car. Okay, and then we pick our tracks to go into that playlist. Now make sure it's a sensible amount of tracks, not too many, because don't forget, there's only a about, I think it's 90 minutes of, 80 minutes, sorry, of uh, audio time on a standard CD. So make sure you don't go above 80 minutes, otherwise it won't burn properly. So let's pick out a few tracks. I'm just gonna go through a few albums I've got here. So, okay, I'm gonna want this track here. So let's click on the three dots just to the right, and we're gonna add it to playlist, and we're gonna add it to the CD for car playlist. Let's go into this one here. Um, okay, and just click on the three dots on the right and then add to playlist, CD for car playlist. Okay, we'll go to this one just here. Incidentally, if you haven't got the three dots um, on, the, on the right hand side, just move your mouse over the track you want, the time will disappear and the three dots will appear. So let's click that one, yep add to playlist and click CD for car. So there we go. Let's, I'm only gonna do a couple because otherwise um, it's gonna take a long while to burn this CD. So right, I've left clicked on the CD for car playlist, which is on the left there. So next thing we need to do is put our blank CD into the drive. Now, I must stress, once you've burnt the CD, that's it, you cannot add any more tracks to it. Doesn't matter whether it's a CDR or a CDRW. So, okay, so it's popped up with a message. You've inserted a blank CD or DVD. To burn items on the disc, select the playlist that contains the items you want to burn, and then choose File, burn playlist to discs. If you haven't yet created the playlist, choose file, new playlist, and then drag the items from your library to the playlist. So we've already created the playlist. So, okay, so we click on okay here, and uh, we can click on file just up, in, up here. Okay, and there we go. We've got burn playlist to disc. So move your mouse down so that burn playlist to disc is highlighted, and then left click once. Okay, so it asks us, to select the speed. Preferred speed is maximum possible, but if you've uh, if you're having trouble burning discs, then try burning at a slower speed. Uh, I'm gonna leave it on maximum possible. Okay, so it's saying, do we wanna create an audio CD? Yes, it's, if most general CD players will play audio CDs, that's the best for compatibility. Um, so it says, do we want a gap between songs? Yeah, we can have a gap between songs. If we don't want a gap between songs, take the tick out there. Uh, use sound check, that checks the uh, sound, I believe. Include CD text, so any text um, that might pop up on the screen when you put it into a CD, that'll pop up there, the CD text. If you're creating an MP3 CD, then yeah, you can do that. You can obviously fit more tracks on an MP3 CD, but not all CD players will play MP3 CDs. In fact, most of them won't. You've got to make sure that your CD player that you're playing it on is compatible with MP3 CDs. And the other option is a data CD or a DVD, which is really for use inside a computer. Some, some other devices will play data CDs, but it's mainly for use on a computer. But if if we're doing a plain audio CD like we're doing in this guide, then we're just going to select audio CD up here. And as I say, make sure that the tracks do not total any more than 80 minutes, otherwise it won't be able to burn the CD. So, right, once we're ready, move your mouse over burn, left click once, okay, and at the top there you can see, there you go, writing OMG, which is the first track 
on my disc. Now, this bit might take a bit of time, so please, please, please be patient. Don't try and interrupt it. And best thing to do is not to be doing anything else on your computer while this is running, because burning a CD is a real-time process, and if you're doing something else, it's gonna interrupt it and it could stop it from burning. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause this video now and we'll come back to it when it's nearing the end of its writing process. Okay, so uh, it's just finished. The CD's just ejected um, and uh, it's come, I don't know why it's come up with this, if you've inserted a blank CD, no I haven't. So I'm just gonna click okay on that. So yeah, so there you go. That's how to burn a CD from iTunes. Hope this guide helps. Thanks for watching.